Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where I was streaming Inquisition most of the day and then I ate a bunch of food and then I went into a food coma for like an hour and a half so if I'm a little slow-witted I apologize but I know so we just finished talking for like 30 minutes with Gaia um, and then uh, Beta needs to speak to me we're probably gonna get dragged into an unavoidable quest which is fine they're good ones you know it's main story stuff I came back to base, and now I'm gonna, I was trying to think of something. Now I'm gonna do main quest stuff. Notebook. Yay, still, like, just over a third of the way through, even after turning in that big one. Ugh. Down, oh, okay, it's right here, okay, that's good. If I can remember that ever. I should also, before I go anywhere, craft any ammo I might need. Hi. Um. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Oh. Uh, a little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. I remember that. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot, too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love this was the blood. one she found when she was There's little. something you need to tell me? Like, when when Aloy. Gone, I came down here to check on her. When Aloy was then little. we started talking. Right, Beta? Yay! She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades. On the program. left, she was a blonde woman. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then? One day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was the liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? Blah. So she's still alive? She's not the one who died. What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth... She was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around 
about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis? Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? That was a shutdown! Yeah. Any information about them was redacted. We shouldn't shut someone down when she's talking about something she likes, you know what I mean? I know we have, you know, only so much time on our hands, but still, Aloy. Varl is probably a much better conversationalist than Aloy is. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. She's so skinny. She's a skinny little baby. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. They probably didn't bother to check up on her much. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat Well, she them. couldn't act different. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. You're a bad conversationalist, Aloy. I bet you she didn't get this upset when Varl was talking to her. Oh! What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds. Risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Therapist time. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Varl's team mom. That's what I've decided now. It's definitely not Aloy. Aloy is a uh, team older sister. <laughs> and <laughs> from the way she treats everybody. She always has been. <laughs> I can do everything on my own. And my little sister is so annoying. And 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 therapist, fat therapist mom Varl. It makes you want to punch something. More like someone. Oh, you're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. <laughs> okay, let's see now if people have anything to say. Hey, Aloy, uh, it's everything all right? It, it seemed like you and Varl were down in that basement for a while. Yeah, everything's fine, I guess. Well, okay. Uh... What can I do for you? 
She could not be more obviously shutting people down, and they could not be more obviously aware of it. Like, it really is, like, I don't know, I was hoping kind of by this point, it would have gotten a little better. Because it's kind of, it's kind of hard to watch. It's like, I don't, I don't appreciate being the one doing this. Like, obviously, she hurts Aaron's feelings almost every time they interact. I have no idea why he's still around. He's still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more, you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these, uh, holofilms. Like, images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. You know, the Osaram like shows. Oh, yes, I know. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. I, I, uh, I, I have noticed that after interacting with that, with that it group. Seems like you're getting a hang of this data thing. Yeah, it's been helpful. When I could make sense of anything. I did find the old ones enjoyed a good brew like the rest of us. Only they let machines serve the stuff in bars. They even let the damn things cut you off before you saw the underside of a table. Uh, and that's half the fun. Uh -huh. uh, you won't see me letting a robot serve me a pitcher anytime soon. How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. What did you do? <laughs> I made one joke about how they, you know, eat grass a lot. How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just try not to get hurt. It's also, she is much younger than, well, she's much younger than Aaron. Maybe not much younger. She's younger than Aaron and, uh, probably, maybe so. Especially Aaron, though. It's just kind of, it's a little odd for her to be talking down to him so much. She always does. Like, I don't know, he's kind of a goofy guy, but like, yeah. Like, no need to talk down to him all the time. Are you playing that board game I keep seeing everywhere? Oh, you mean Strike? Yeah, I'm just trying to you know, get some practice in. Helps take my mind off things. Yeah, it's a Tanakh game. I thought about playing Catalo, but what if he tries to kill me if I win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're safe. Yeah, I don't know. Heard a lot of things about that tribe. Heard a lot about the Nora, too. Do I smell ale? Yeah, I brought some over from Chain Scrape. Hey, with everything that's been going on, I thought we could all use a drink. Besides, there is nothing that brings people together like a good brew. That's what my sister always said, anyways. Hey, you're more than welcome to have some. Maybe another time. Yeah, I don't drink. Um, I have not played Strike. I actually am really curious. I see you've got Strike set up. Think you could teach me? I would, but I can barely make sense of it myself. You'd be better off learning from Salma and Chain Screen. Aww. She can be pretty you know, passionate about it, but she knows Strike as well as any Tanakh. Guess I'll have to make some time to visit her when I can. That was a shutdown. Oh, I deserved that, though, because of all the things I've done to him. So I can't even play strike with him unless I figure it out from the original person. I should get going. Back to reading, I guess. You be careful out there. Mm. Hey, got a sec? Of course. I was training. Discovering something new about our past every day. When we first met, you asked me if I ever wondered what this world looked like when the old ones lived here. I had thought it was strange at the time, but a lot has changed since I left the embrace. Now I'm just trying to make sense of everything I thought I knew and versus everything I know now. The change is hard, but it gets easier over time. Hmm. You feeling okay? I was just thinking about Beta and all that time spent with the Zeniths. To think someone would make a person just to lock them in a room to use when needed, like some sort of tool. Elizabeth Sobek sacrificed herself for the world, and yet they have no trouble treating Beta like a slave. Another reason we have to stop them. It's hard to believe we're dealing with the original Zeniths. Same ones that left for Sirius a thousand years ago. 
to live on for so long. It doesn't seem natural. Because it's not. That weapon we found where Beta was hiding. Any chance we can use that against them? Silence made sure that wasn't an option. Why would he build something to hurt Far Zenith, yet allow them to capture you? With Silence, there's always an angle. We just don't know what it is yet. What do you make of this Tilda that Beta was talking about? Well, the way she described it, I can't shake off the feeling that Tilda wanted something from Beta. Maybe because she's Elizabeth Sobek's clone? But whatever she wanted, I don't think she got it. If we knew what it was, maybe we could use it to our advantage somehow. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Tilda and Elizabeth were on the best of terms. Oh well. At least we can take some comfort in knowing the Zeniths don't trust each other. Maybe. You brought up Rost before. I do think about him. You know, he was all I had. And he brought me up the best he could. Not only that, when Hades discovered who I was and sent the Eclipse after me, he sacrificed himself so I could survive. But that seems like ages ago. So much has happened since. What I'm doing now, I don't think he could even begin to understand it. The Sacred Lands were all he really knew. So I can't let myself dwell on him. Not with everything I have to do. I understand. Sometimes, when I think about my sister, about what she would have become if she had survived the proving... She was cool. It hurts. And I just need to bury it for a while. But only for a while, Aloy. You can't ignore it forever. Memories always come back. The ones that matter, anyway. I know. But for now, the mission has to come first. Fair enough. It's good that they brought him back up again, like, and they didn't just be like, because that was like six months ago. I should get back out there. We'll be here if you need us. Aloy. Hey, how's everything going? I am well, but Varl told me Beta's having a hard time adjusting to life here with us. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm not sure any of us can. A tree won't bear fruit in a day. We'll do our best to make her feel welcome. Man, I love, I, I know I say it all the time, but I love the like, ethnic specific, like group specific phrases that they use, you know, like uh, just like offhand that seemed that work really well for every situation like every group has something like that you know Found anything else coming through that data varl and i have been looking into the animals of the old world apparently there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today can you imagine that i'd give anything to see them even as holograms though i know that without artemis or apollo that may prove difficult at least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Her memory honors them. That is a good... I mean, I, they mostly just did it, I thought, for, like, you know, because they can't have every animal running around. But I wonder if we could get Artemis back and rework her, if we could start introducing those species. Because also, like, I feel like you'd have to... It would really mess with the local ecosystem and the ecosystems at large like if you didn't have all the like niche animals you know to like keep things running properly like i think we don't have and this would actually be a huge problem we don't have any like animal predators machines don't hunt like flesh animals you know so all we have is these prey animals running around and this was the problem with yellowstone back in the day because people were morons and they're like wolves and bears and cougars are bad so they'd poison and kill them even the park rangers would and eradicated wolves from yellowstone right but it took like a couple influential biologists being like no they are part of the system like they eat like the they they take out like the weak or the old or the infirm you know and they keep the populations healthy and they keep them down so that they don't overgraze and like starve themselves you know what i mean like so the elk don't like starve themselves by overgrazing and not having anything to eat before winter and all that stuff blah blah blah, blah. so anyway yeah we would uh have, be having issues i think with an overabundance of prey population 
What are you going to learn next? I'm not sure. I asked Gaia for suggestions, and she brought up data you found on something called a... museum? From what I gather, the old ones would store knowledge in them for all to see and learn from, like you've done here for us. Maybe one day more people will be able to use this place to learn the way we have. That sounds... crowded, but... Nice. Yeah, Aloy's not a people person. <laughs> she's not a she's not a museum uh, guide by any means. Are you guys training with Aaron as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. I've been told. Please tell me you weren't being serious, though. Of course not. Good. I was going for a couple of broken bones. Mm. He called the Utaru leaf grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. Whoa. Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. He gets dumped on regularly. Like I know he talks big, but I think it's because he doesn't he doesn't actually have a lot of self confidence, so I feel bad for him. Is there anything I can help with around here? Hmm? Oh no. We're doing fine. Are you okay? You and Varl have been friends for a while. I like to think so. I was wondering what do you know about his mother? Oh. Mm -hmm. That bad, huh? Why do you want to know? He's spoken of his sister, Vala, but I noticed he avoids talking about his mother. She's the war chief of the Nora. Best warrior the tribe's ever known. Tougher than a Thunderjaw, but she could be pretty harsh at times. I see. That must have been hard on him. Thank you for telling me. I feel silly not being able to ask Varl directly. I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably afraid Sona will scare you off someday. I'd like to see her try. Mm, yeah. I think uh, I think she would underestimate her, but I think she would. I think Sora would, uh, would realize real real quick, honestly, that she's got a backbone of steel. That Zoe's got a backbone of steel. <laughs> that would be an interesting altercation to see. Because he has stood a number on Beta, but she seems to trust Varl. I still can't believe she told him the Zeniths are immortals. Old ones who cut themselves off from the cycle of life and decay. I've never heard of anything so selfish. To deny our dying bodies to the earth. To doom the life that would bloom in their place. It's despicable. It would be extra uh, weird for Utaru. I should get going. Good luck on your search. They have a very cyclical belief and a very close uh, relationship with death, it seems. And not in like a warrior way, but in like a rever... Not like a worshipful way, but a reverential way, you know? An appreciative way. Um, do I need anything? Oh, this is, this is not my, my chest, that is. Oh wait, this is their room. I can't, why, why is my chest outside your guys' you room? sure that's what the data says? I'm telling you, it's a drink, but it's soft. <laughs> How is it soft? It says here it had bubbles in it? I need to talk to Katala. Well, we can't expect to make sense out of everything the old ones did. There you are. Yeah, you had something about like a... Oh, it looked like he was drinking something for a second. I was like, does he have a soda in his hand? <laughs> I don't think he's holding a can. <laughs> I was like, what? Um, he's got something to tell me about the prosthetic. Mind if we have a word? Of course not. I love you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is the new Varl, I guess. Very co complete opposite of Varl. Holy cow. My taste is uh, far ranging, I guess you can say. I have a wide variety of interests. <laughs> Must be strange. Seeing everything through a focus now. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply... Reveal themselves to me. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. What do you think of this place? It must take some getting used to. It's an efficient center of operations, and an acceptable training facility. Though it could use some more... color. 
Duly noted. Mm. That is fair, right? And he's, it's so funny because of everyone, the Tanakh have the most modern words because they had access to like holograms and stuff like that. Um, so he's using those words re- like very confidently. Um, but also the Tanakh do paint everything. So it is a bit of a bland facility you know, from coming from that perspective. I want to look at what he's done on the table. Does it still hurt? It comes and goes. I try not to think about it, but its absence is always present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. Good, 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 good. Have you spoken with Erend at all? I've had little chance to. I did see him bring some ale from out east. That stuff's as bitter as self-brush. You get used to it, eventually. In fact, I wouldn't mind a drink myself. I'm sure Erend wouldn't mind sharing. He is a little nervous to take you on with a game, so maybe you guys should play a game and have a beer. <laughs> Aaron might pee his pants, though. I should get going. If I can help in some way, say the word. I will. I would love... Thank you. ...to have you come out and help, but the game won't let me. I'm trapped inside this prison of loneliness. Uh, I don't think there's any point in me going to talk to Beta right now. I haven't done anything with a cauldron, I don't think, or any sort of cauldron upgrade, whatever stupid Word thing Cotologo. they want me to do. What do you mean, Word Cotologo? We already saw where he went. Ammo crafting. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, it's a little less. <gasps> Does this count as ammo? Oh my freaking gosh. Okay, hang on. So, 12, 1, 6. Okay, a little less. Nice, at least on the traps. That's very nice. Or on the trip wires. Is our technically ammunition? Ooh, okay, we'll do a little bit of these. Not too many, because they are using up my blast paste. This one's not really a problem to craft in the wilderness, but I might as well. Okay, I think that was very much more efficient. I am very close to being out of... Why do I have so many health potions? I think I've been picking them up. Let me see if I can put those. I do would like... I would like to have a couple cleanse. So I kind of want to put some of those health potions away. Oh! I do have some. Oh yes, I definitely want to be able to... Okay. Oh. Very good. Very cool. Okay, they are not as difficult as I thought. You just gotta get some of the parts from them, essentially. Cool, okay. It's still a pain in the butt. Not his focus things trying to kill me. He did almost drown it in me. Not on purpose. Hmm. <laughs> Where's my room? Oh, looks like I can open that door now. Oh, this one? Oh no, this one. There's a lot of equipment in here. It had a Gaia. Had a what was all this for? Maze cob. This room was designed for management yeah. of the facility's vast safe banks. From here, control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see. 
Oh, uh, Zoe would like this a lot. It's the little things. But yeah, for I guess sorry, now that I'm thinking now I'm looking at that and being sad. Um, that hollow that um Beta was looking at was the wall the very first one that Aloy ever found when she fell as a child into an old world ruin. Perfect. I want to put Oh, I do have... Those are all full. How do I... Inventory. Put some... Tools. Um... Uh, just two of them. And then I will take... Oh, I have so many of those. Oh, I have so many potions. Holy cow. The cleanse has been useful for some... instances where I get overloaded with plasma or fire. Okay. You know there used to be a rainforest so big the old ones called it the lungs of the planet? That sounds lovely. Yeah. They burned it to the ground at some point. Yeah. Oh. But they helped bring part of it back in Sobek's time. That's good to hear. I wonder if it grew back after Zero Dawn. Oh, oh my gosh. Next game. I think so. Next game, let's go to the Amazon. Oh my gosh. I actually don't know how we're gonna how you'd make a third one after this, but I guess with space being a potential, uh, I guess kind of enemy, sort of, <laughs> there's options for anything, but I thought Horizon Zero Dawn ended really well, and then it was like, haha, but look, silence, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> um, actually, before we go anywhere, I think I will call it here. I oh, apologize for the yawn. Let's actually see... Oh, shoot. Uh, let's do some of this. Oh, uh... I did want... Didn't I want one of these? I got that. Um, the bolt blaster thing. I mean, that could be useful. It sometimes is. I do like the idea of this, but I don't think it's it's a good idea necessarily. Like, why not just fire at him? But it is a it is a volley, so you know what? Sure, be fun to have access to. Oh, I should put something into potion too. Oh, I did want that. And... Here... Potions being faster to consume would be nice, but I don't do it very often, and I already have an upgrade for that. I have an upgrade for berries too, but I abuse berries, so... Oh! Gather more resources from plants. Oh! Interesting. Berries. I only have 348 shards. And that's with selling even some weapons and some coils and stuff. Hmm, has, um... Come on, aren't you done with the reboot code yet? I thought, I thought for sure she'd be done with it by now. Anyway. 
We're running out of side quests. I don't care about that one. I'm not going to do it. I don't like... Uh, should I go look at those? I don't want to. We have salvage contracts, but I have to see if it's worth it, honestly. Hmm. Oh, I forget they list them here. Rebel camps and the outposts. So all I gotta do, for at least the ones I know of, I can go in here and look for them. I'm a moron. Anyway, we'll probably do a little bit more cleanup after this one. Do some more bandit camps. Not too many, though. I feel like kind of running out of, like, meaningful side quests and not just fetch questy ones like the salvage contract. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. Maybe I should go run around the coast for a while after this, honestly, and looking for stuff to do. There are There's that whole big town I could go into, Thornmarsh, and get a bunch of quests in there. I'll look into that. <laughs> so anything to stall the main quest, because I do that. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Kalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I very much appreciate it and I hope you're having a wonderful day. So thank you all again and I hope to see you in the next one.